Hey, welcome to the channel. I think most of you probably already know me, but for those who don't, my name is Charlie Vinci and I'm a local realtor. Today, my assistant Gennaro is on the other side of the camera. He's gonna ask some of the most common questions. I'm gonna go ahead and answer them for you, just sort of freestyle. Hopefully, this helps you decide if moving to Greenwich, Connecticut is right for you. How do prices in Greenwich compare to Westchester? Most people are telling me that they feel like when they're comparing apples to apples, similar homes, that they're getting more home in Greenwich and they're paying less tax. How do prices in Greenwich compare to the rest of Connecticut? Well, Greenwich is the uh, most expensive town in the state, so prices are, are higher if you're comparing it to, say, uh, Darien, Westport, or New Canaan, the most similar towns as far as price point is concerned, and of course the other towns as well. I've heard backcountry is far away from Greenwich amenities. Is that true? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, there's the backcountry is, is beautiful. It's the place to go if you really want a architecturally significant home, uh, something that's not like any of the other homes that's unique. Uh, there, it's got more, more land usually, and it just isn't something that uh, is comparable. They're really special homes. But there's a trade-off for that seclusion, for that privacy, in backcountry, it means that you're farther away from most of the uh, the things in town, like most of the parks and uh, shopping. You're going to have to drive, in some cases, 15 to 20 minutes. But again, that's a trade-off. That's a different lifestyle and a different type of home in many cases that you're you know you're choosing to live in backcountry for that benefit over the proximity. How do prices for goods and services compare to the rest of Fairfield County? Yeah, this this is a good one and a real common one that a lot of people ask. Uh, the feeling is that contractors charge more money in Greenwich because of uh, the fact that it's Greenwich and it's not one of the other towns. Uh, you know Personally, I don't think this is the case. I think what's actually happening is that a lot of times these contractors are having to uh, bring their crews and their equipment into town. They're not local, and so that costs time and money. And also, I think that you know if you're comparing prices in, say, a town like Norwalk or Stamford to Greenwich, uh, I think most of those homes... They, they, the work can be done. The standard is higher in Greenwich, let's put it that way. Most people are looking for a different level of, of contractor and that takes time, money, and resources. And so that has a reflection in the cost as well. Is there any area that's unsafe in Greenwich? You know, this is a tricky question because uh, part of our licensing rules, things like this, we have to be very careful about how we answer them. I have to send you back to factual data. We actually have a buyer's guide uh, with things like school ratings and crime ratings, etc., and you can look up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and leave that link down in the description. I think what you're going to find is overall uh, the crime rating in, in Greenwich is just phenomenally better than uh, most towns, I should say, in the, the U.S. So uh, I hope that is a good enough answer, but I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and use our buyer's guide and drill down into the specific areas that you're looking for. Where's the best shopping in town? Best shopping, I'm going to say, is you're going to want to definitely go to Greenwich Avenue. That's a no-brainer. And then the remainder, I would say, of the shopping is mostly up and down Route 1. That'll, between Greenwich Ave and Route 1, consist about 90% of your local shopping. If you like this video so far, do us a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We are constantly creating new content for you. Why are the taxes so low in Greenwich? Uh, this is another good question, a real common one that we get a lot. A percentage of the value of real estate, in other words, there's the town budget, there's the value of the real estate, and then there's what we call a mill rate, which is a multiplying factor that really gets the town to the number that they need. Because the value of the real estate is so high, you pay proportionately less compared to other towns that have lower priced real estate uh, but essentially the town amenities end up costing similar amounts of money, so uh, they pay a, a larger percentage or a, or a higher mill rate. What's the best train station to use? So I think the best train station to use is the one that's closest to your house, the one that's most convenient, the one that you enjoy. There is a consideration that Coscob, Riverside, and Old Greenwich are slower trains, typically, not all the time, but, uh, and we're talking pre-COVID here, they stopped uh, more frequently, or some trains don't stop at that locations. So essentially, you have to pick and choose your trains uh, if you leave out of Coscob, Riverside, or Old Greenwich. If that's a problem for you, you can go right out of the main station. And if when the fast train is running again, it's a 45-minute train to Grand Central. 
Why are some parts of town more affordable than others? I think this particular person was talking about the area of Byram and Pemberwick, which butt up against the New York border. And what I'll say is relative to Greenwich as a whole, these areas do suffer from some deferred maintenance and a lack of curb appeal relative to the town as a whole. So I think as far as real estate is concerned, you know, they're going to be a little bit less desirable because the neighborhoods, uh, you know, the condition of the neighborhoods relative to the rest of town is, is obviously different. What's the community in New York City like? This is really a two-pronged question. We talked about the trains before, so I don't think we need to hit on that. Again, we have a train video for Greenwich, which you can learn more about by go ahead and checking that out. If you're commuting by car, that's a, a bit of a different story. You're going to want to you know, take Google and time the commute based on the time of day that you plan to travel to get an accurate estimate. Uh, and I think if I could make a recommendation, I think you should use the Merritt Parkway versus I-95 because generally it flows a little bit better. And if you're not already familiar, the Merritt Parkway turns into the hutch in New York. Are there nice walkable areas in Greenwich? Yes, there are plenty of, well, actually we did another video on this as well. And I think that video does a much better job of answering the question than I could do right here in the small amount of time that we have today. However, uh, I think you're going to find there are plenty of walkable areas. Old Greenwich and downtown being two of the best. But there are lots of communities, if you're just looking to, you know, say, go out for a casual walk or push the baby in a stroller, you've got that all over town. There are, there are plenty of communities where you'll find, you know, really great just general walking areas. And then, of course, if you want to be able to walk to the train, to the, to the butcher, to the grocery store, that you've got those options as well. In your personal experience, why do most people move to Greenwich? I believe that most people are choosing Greenwich over other towns based on the proximity to Manhattan, uh, the lifestyle of the town itself, the low taxes, and the fact that compared to Westchester, by hopping over the Connecticut line, you, you get a whole lot more value. Uh, you're going to get more home for your net uh, payment. If you like this video, do us a favor, go ahead and hit the like button.